for people who understand what you're trying to build, but then once you say if you get your business it goes global, right? You can't manage all those people, but you can hide your beliefs into something called symbolism, in which a oh. lot is lot how I would do it is like I would have the symbols representing my beliefs inside the company or business that in which like most of the major we, uh, we, we, we should do a podcast on corporate logos uh, right, right. And, 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 that, and that's how that's how the world really works is because like once you understand okay and i believe a certain way and my beliefs have gotten me this far i know the people below me don't have the mental capacity to understand they don't have that's a little harsh that the strength <laughs> they don't have the strength to understand like what they're trying to do but it's okay because that's what they're supposed to be doing. But you can give them hope by putting the beliefs right in front of their eyes. And when they wake up, they'll see it and see what So you're programming doing. a subconscious mind. Slowly. For, slowly. But for those who catch on, they catch on. For those who don't, they don't. They don't. But you don't put it right in front. You don't, you're not blaring yeah, in front of their face. You're not trying to like run a cult. You know, you're right. trying to be a successful gotcha. business. What say you? Um, <laughs> well, this is, uh, this is actually it's a multi-level question. If I'm right. understanding the question correctly... Do you have the responsibility, or the, or is it wise to put your beliefs in? Both. Is it? Would you? Would you like to see it like that, or do you think it's right to? The, the, it's, it's kind of. Would you like? Is your personal? I don't. Your personal you. opinion, and above that, is it what the founding fathers would think? I I, I don't personally. So, yeah. So personally, and okay, from an observer standpoint. Um. I don't believe mm -hmm. that it's appropriate ever to, to force my beliefs on somebody. Mm -hmm. However, in my daily life, um, at my day job, um, or when I was an entrepreneur, everything, everything, I because I always believed that work was a sacrament. Um, um, because work is, is how I continue my existence, and life is the ultimate um, mm -hmm. sacrament. Um, and so whatever I did... In order to support that, as long as it didn't steal from anyone else or, or require anybody else to sacrifice, is is paramount. So that's how I live my life. That's how I've always lived my life, and that is my personal belief. And so that comes through in my work. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a problem with that. On the other hand, you know, I will because I have people that that work underneath me. I will work 60, 70 hours a week if I have to to get my job done. I don't believe it's appropriate to say, okay, I do this, you have to do it too. Okay. Uh, now, what would the founding fathers think? It depends on which one you asked. Right. Uh, As a conglomerate. Um, let's see, again, I'm an individualist and I can't really, you know. Um, right. Ben Franklin was, you know, uh, early, uh, late to bed, early to rise, work like hell, advertise. You know? Right. Um, uh, that's who he was. Right. Um, Jefferson was always working because that's what he did, you know. Uh, other people were, you know, successful business people. You know, it, it, it just depends. I do. I think that they thought it was appropriate to impose their beliefs on other people. No, I don't. That's um, why you hide yeah. it, right? right. Why would you hide it? I mean, Not just really live it. Hide you it. Just live it. And if, if somebody yeah. decides that, oh, I like that, I'm going to pick that up and do that. Yeah. You right. Know? Well, this the, the time in on my personal to answer the question. Yeah. Uh, just like my mentor, Matthew Mac. Um, mm -hmm. He. Uh, Catholicism. He's is heavily, he Catholic? I didn't yeah, he's heavily Catholic. Now I'm not following his beliefs because you know you you know my story. Yeah, I mean, but, but you're following his example. I like his work ethic. In fact, yes. the first day I told him, I'm like uh, the first day I was there, I told him like, yeah, you're one of the only person I see with a similar work ethic. But leading by example, uh -huh. always being there, always yeah. answering your phone, always running to the issue, never running away from the issue. Yeah, um, always paying your bills on time. Mm -hmm. All that stuff I soaked up. Yeah, and I'm able to. Um, regurgitate in my own way. Yeah. Um, so I would say do your beliefs. Yeah. Not just preach your beliefs. Yeah, do them. Live them. Do them, and then people that will follow you, follow you. But it's voluntary. And it's voluntary, okay. yeah. You so, follow the map. So just, just, do, just do your, do it. Don't mm -hmm. preach it. Yeah. No, just do. This just almost like what I talked about earlier, preach it was like Chick-fil-A. Yeah. All right, we're closing Sunday. That's our example. Yeah. You know, just do it. Yeah. Don't. I don't think the people that hey, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. Just the talking. Yeah. See, I've I've never been uh, a fan of of just the talking. You know, we're doing right. this to make a statement. I don't like yeah. Statements. Do it. Live what you're saying. Yeah. You do that. You you're, you're supposed to be about. Mm -hmm. And let people follow if they choose to. If they want to, yeah. You know. But I don't, I don't, like, you know, you say obfuscate it, hide it. And, no, no, just I be mean, who you are. Right. Yeah, for sure. And I agree. Like, I, I try to live my life a certain way, in which I believe in is 
the best way to do it. And I think I'm pretty successful for my age, not monetarily, but I mean, just you know, the overview of my Mon life. Money is not necessarily a measure right. of success. Yeah. Yeah. Satisfaction yeah. is. Right. Happiness yeah. is right. the goal. Right. And, and I think like sometimes just everyone's on different levels. You know, you'll have those people like in Wolf on Wall Street, right? I'm not saying it's the best way to do it, like morally or anything, but what he did was he was able to teach his friends who believed in him, and they mm -hmm. were able to run and take over their business. He was able to create. Yeah, for right. the whole world to see, and he built something from nothing. Right. And that's so important, because once you get people to jump into your system that you're trying to build, sky's the limit. Right? You can do anything at that right. point. Yeah. And, and, but you just have to find the right... The right thing well, and I think that's great, but again, I don't necessarily want to crap on the, the guy that's actually, you know, having to work for a living because he's not born with that dynamicism right, right. To, to take him to that level. Well, it's know? a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, it is. We, we need the, the actual workers, we, that's what hits yeah. the college system and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, we need not the, a fan of the college <laughs> right, system. But we need qualified oh, yeah, but, workers and good people to actually build our businesses yeah. and our visions. But the, 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 the actual power of ownership is, my particular niche market is for those you know, up and coming entrepreneurs. Yeah. People that actually may be working a job, but they want to switch to this. Yeah, side. absolutely. And then they're looking for that advice and looking for that motivation yeah. weekly. This is my audience. Yeah, and I'm not saying at some right. point in my life I won't go back to that. Right, I mean, right. You know, Harlan Sanders was what, 60 when he did right, the AFC, exactly. you know? Right. Uh, I'm 48. I still got time. Right, right, right now exactly. in my life, I'm just kind of coasting a little bit because yes. I need some time off. Yeah, we, we, talked about, we talked about that. I mean, yeah, it's, every, you know, so we're not, I definitely I wouldn't dump on. Workers. I even said this yesterday in my eight podcast. Hey, look, we love you still the same. Yeah. You know, but don't fake the phone. No. Don't God, be a no. entrepreneur. No, absolutely. If you're not going to go hard, if you're not going to do this 100%. No, it's a brutal lifestyle. Get out of the way. Yeah. You, you, you're clogging up the entrance. Yes, absolutely. You know, so yeah. you know, if you don't want to do 100%, you don't want to take your uh, every day and maximize it, do everything that you could do to make your dreams uh, fruition. Stay out of the way, but get a W-2. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, this is 2019. We talk about lifestyle choices. Entrepreneur right. is a lifestyle choice. Exactly. Period. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And I just got tired. Right, right. <laughs> it's, a di it's a different type of... It, you have to sacrifice a lot. You have to be goal-driven. You have to be able to will the, the, the actually take a what's called a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. you, you don't actually see the actual results every day, but you got to trust the process and say that if I do this, then this will come. I'm going to do that word thing again that we talked about earlier because you said sacrifice. Right. If you're an entrepreneur, right. you're not sacrificing a damn thing. Yes, sir. You're, you're trading. So you're what? trading something you don't want for something you do want. So what? You're sacrificing... Old, the, the, the 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 social normity is that what you want is the social norm I don't want it okay but, you know, but it's not but, a sacrifice right, right, right. So, you know you're but, selling that shit at discount right yeah. you know, so but you you always you know just, just you always be that you're you're always that oddball yeah you're always that 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 so that that slow thumb that sticks out and that goes back to the beginning about clicks right you are that oddball and until you're successful right. people are going to be trying to drive your ass away because right. you're different right, right you know and that's the that's the important you thing you can't let them you can't let them you right, got to right. keep going right. that's what you, and I got tired yeah. right. you got to have your shields up yes you do the right. jealousy is will always it's not there. even the jealousy it's it's hey. that one's different let's kill it right you right know, that one that family. one can see like yes, they that can see like they live absolutely you know so uh, Family, I don't want to keep y'all too long. I think we probably. Oh, I do. We're doing this for six more hours. <laughs> Stay tuned. Man, I can, I can talk about it for six more Yeah, this more is hours. a great. <laughs> Actually, I can. Great topic. We don't. Good. Again, the one thing I, I noticed, I don't want to keep y'all day because there's so many things that you could be watching. I'm, uh, if you do tune in, I'm glad you're watching us. Uh, I want to go ahead and uh, do the outros. If anything you guys want to, uh, your brothers want to plug or anything you got coming up or any websites, anything you want to plug, go ahead and plug it and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, again, we're doing uh, my Masonic Lodge, Bel Air 1336, is mm -hmm. doing a charity foundation for Camp Hope mm -hmm. and the Community Builder Award on May 18th um, at 5 o'clock uh, at the Houston Scotch Rite Building, 2401 West Belfort Street. Tickets are $100. Please reach out to me. It's for a really good cause. Even if you want to just make a donation, feel free to hit Brandon up here or mm -hmm. myself. Uh, you can reach me at Stephen Contreras on Facebook and Stephen Contreras. Uh, on Instagram, um, we're doing a really good cause. We're pretty much trying to help take soldiers and rehabilitate them back into society. So, and just on a personal note, 
if you're really trying to be successful, I would just say keep on doing what you're doing. It's okay to fail, you know, it's part of life. Absolutely. Just pick yourself back up stronger, better, faster. And listen to the podcast for yeah, listen to the podcast. <laughs> you know? um, I don't really have anything to plug. Um, mm -hmm. I'll leave you with this. Um, uh, no one learns anything by being perfect. Feel free to screw up. Just screw up differently every time. Sure, right. sure. Right. And this one thing I want to plug, I got actually a couple things. Uh, actually, uh, let me let me retract that. I got actually two things I want to plug. Uh, for any Prince Hall um, brothers out there, yeah. we do have a uh, event on May the 9th at our lodge, Dr. Malay 1390. It's 241 West Belfort. Uh, we're doing a bridge builder. So if you're Prince Hall, and grand, uh, most worshipful uh, Prince Hall uh, in the state of Texas, come on out. We're going to have dinner at 630. Um, we're going to have uh, open lodge and it's going to be a casual. It's going to be our Hawaiian shirt night. So if you got a Hawaiian shirt, go ahead and wear it. So we want to have a pretty good turnout. I'm hosting it. And uh, along with uh, Brothers from Lone Star Lodge 85. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing a speech at uh, elementary school here. I'm going to give the details here in a second. It's going to be on May 22nd. And uh, we're going to talk about masonry. We're going to talk about uh, some of the, the misconceptions of masonry. And, you know, I'm going to get the kids to understand if they want to uh, join the Malay or uh, Rainbow. There's going to be a perfect opportunity. So if you're a mason or a Freemason that want to speak, if you're a D-Malay or a Rainbow, you want to speak in a, uh, at this particular event, uh, let me know, 832-775-8357. I think if we could change, reprogram the mind and get a better public relations, I think we'll have better, uh, I think we'll have, as far as membership, we'll have better uh, membership because I think what happens is the, I think we let uh, the internet paint the narrative up mm -hmm. on us. And that's part of the thing what I'm doing with this podcast. It's like, hey, we're regular guys. We're building our community. We're, we're doing what we're supposed to do. We're, we're the good guys. Mm -hmm. So not something that you're seeing online, the crap that you're seeing online. Um, I want to take y'all out by saying, don't forget to copy, get a copy of my book, Sales, The Nucleus of Any Profession. If you want to learn how to sell, you want to change your, your income, you want to learn how to sell and market, which you're going to have to do in this economy today, pick it up as a seven-step process. I made it real easy. The second book will be out real soon, probably before the end of the summer, and then I'm going to do the second edition of this book before the end of the year. And people have been all, uh, begging for audio books, so I might do that before the end of the year as well. Uh, if you need a mortgage, hocmortgage.com. I'm ready. I've been doing a lot of investment properties. Get your investment portfolio now. Um, with that, I'm going to leave you with my catchphrase. Remember that God is a verb and personal responsibility is your only savior. With that, I'm going to say peace. Actually, I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs>